Be honest when you're shopping for storage and you see words like M.2, PCIe, NVMe, SATA, and AHCI. Does it feel like you're staring at random letters instead of real tech? We're going to break down every SSD type in plain language. By the end, you'll know what each one actually means, why it matters, and which one you should buy without second-guessing yourself. 1. SATA SATA SSDs are the classic starting point. These drives plug into the same SATA ports that old hard drives used, which is why they were so easy to adopt when SSDs first went mainstream. If your computer supported a hard drive, it could handle a SATA SSD without any issues. Performance-wise, SATA SSDs were a huge leap over spinning disks. They turned slow, sluggish systems into snappy ones. Boot times dropped from minutes to seconds. Programs launched instantly, and even older laptops felt like new again. The downside is that SATA SSDs are stuck at around 550 megabytes per second. That might sound fast if you're upgrading from a hard drive, but compared to modern SSDs, it's slow. Imagine going from walking to biking. It feels amazing at first, but once you see cars racing by, the bike doesn't seem so impressive anymore. Another way to look at it, SATA SSDs are like the flip phones of the SSD world. They were revolutionary when they came out, but today, nobody's bragging about still using one. Today, SATA drives are mainly used for budget builds or as extra storage in older machines. They're cheap, reliable, and still available almost everywhere, but they're no longer the cutting edge. 2. AHCI If SATA is the physical connection, AHCI is the language that connection speaks. AHCI stands for Advanced Host Controller Interface, and it was designed long before SSDs became common. It was originally built for hard drives and then carried over into SSDs. The problem is, AHCI was never meant to handle the insane speed of flash storage. It can only manage one command queue with up to 32 tasks at a time. That was fine for a spinning disk, but with an SSD capable of juggling thousands of requests, AHCI becomes a bottleneck. Picture a busy supermarket with just one cashier. Even if the store is full of workers ready to help, the line will always move slowly because there's only one checkout open. That's AHCI. Stable, compatible, but not designed for the modern era. Every SATA SSD you've ever seen runs on AHCI under the hood. It's dependable, but once you compare it to newer technologies, it shows its limits very quickly. It's like trying to stream 4K Netflix on a connection made for dial-up. Technically possible, but not enjoyable. 3. M.2 now, let's clear up one of the biggest sources of confusion. A lot of people think M.2 means a fast SSD. Others assume M.2 always means NVMe. Neither is true. M.2 is simply the physical form factor, the shape and connector of the drive. An M.2 SSD is that small stick of storage that looks like a stick of gum. It plugs directly into your motherboard without cables, which makes it perfect for laptops and clean desktop builds. But here's the tricky part. Not all M.2 drives are fast. Some are actually SATA drives in the M.2 shape, which means they're still limited to the same old 550 megabytes per second cap. So when you buy an M.2 SSD, the shape tells you it'll fit, but you'll still have to check what technology it uses inside, SATA or NVMe. Most modern M.2 drives today use NVMe, but it's important not to assume. The difference can be massive. It's the difference between buying a sports car looking ride that only goes 40 miles per hour versus one that actually rockets down the highway. 4. PCIe PCIe, short for Peripheral Component Interconnect Express, is the highway that many of today's fastest SSDs use to talk to the CPU. Unlike SATA, which is an older single lane road, PCIe offers multiple lanes that data can travel through at once. The more lanes and the newer the generation, the faster your storage can move information. PCIe 3.0 with four lanes can deliver around 3,500 megabytes per second. PCIe 4.0 doubles that to about 7,500. PCIe 5.0 doubles it again, pushing close to 14,000 megabytes per second. Compare that to SATA's 550 and you'll see the difference is enormous. This kind of speed matters for things like gaming, video editing, 3D rendering, and large-scale file transfers. But it comes with higher prices and sometimes higher power draw. There's also the matter of PCIe lanes. Your CPU and motherboard only have so many, and if you use too many devices at once, you can run into bandwidth sharing issues. 
Still, PCIe has become the standard for high-performance SSDs. And if you're buying a modern drive today, it's almost certainly going to be PCIe-based. Think of it like highways in a big city. You can either take a one-lane back road, SATA, or jump onto a multi-lane expressway, PCIe. The destination's the same, but the time it takes to get there is very, very different. 5. NVMe Finally, we get to NVMe, Non-Volatile Memory Express. NVMe is the modern protocol created specifically for SSDs. Unlike AHCI, which was a carryover from hard drives, NVMe was designed from the ground up to take advantage of flash storage. Instead of a single queue with 32 commands, NVMe supports up to 64,000 queues with 64,000 commands each. That's millions of requests happening in parallel. Latency is also dramatically lower. Tasks that took 30 microseconds under AHCI can drop to just 10 microseconds with NVMe. This is why NVMe drives feel so much faster, not just in benchmarks, but in real-world use. Games load instantly, massive files transfer in seconds, and multitasking becomes seamless. NVMe is the standard protocol for modern high-speed SSDs, and when paired with PCIe, it unlocks the true potential of storage technology. If AHCI was the single supermarket cashier, NVMe is like opening 1,000 registers at once. Suddenly, the lines disappear. What about you? Was your first SSD a humble SATA drive, or did you skip straight to NVMe? At the end of the day, all those acronyms aren't as scary as they look. SATA was the starting line, AHCI was the old language it used, M.2 is just the shape, PCIe is the highway, and NVMe is the modern protocol that makes everything lightning fast. Put those together, and suddenly the alphabet soup makes sense. For upgrades, SATA is still fine for older systems, but for anything new, NVMe PCIe is the way to go. Fast, efficient, and built for the future. If you're ready to buy and want to skip the endless review rabbit hole, I keep a list of the best SSDs in the description. It's always updated with current prices, so you're not looking at recommendations from six months ago when half the drives are out of stock. Now, here's the other thing nobody tells you. Once you upgrade to an NVMe drive and your system boots in literal seconds, you're going to notice something else. Your monitor. Because what's the point of loading into a game instantly if the colors look washed out, the motion is blurry, or you're stuck at 60 hertz while everyone else is seeing twice the frames? That's exactly what we're covering next. IPS, VA, TN, OLED, Mini LED, QD OLED. All the panel tech explained in plain language so you can actually pick the right one. Let's go.